At the Methow Beaver Project, we found live trapping to be the most effective and ethical way to remove beavers that have had conflict with humans. We're hoping to share some of the tips we've learned with you. To set up the Coro Trap, the first thing you do is slip the rings over the toggles and then spin the toggles so they're perpendicular to the support arm. So that keeps that ring from coming back off and you do that on both sides. The second step is just to lay the trap down on a nice open flat area and grab a hold of the chain link fence that is the back of the trap and just peel the thing open. And then I'll place my knee and hand on opposite sides of the rim to hold the trap in place while I can get everything set. Use your right hand to get the pin secured into the notch on the support arm and then you'll take the hook from the activating lever and swing that over the pin. You're going to walk up the control arm to the very top of it and the cross piece is gonna get secured by the dog. Once the dog is secured in the catch on the pan, all you need to do is just throw that safety ring on and you're all set. The safety ring is there so that if you accidentally trip that pan while you're setting your trap, that safety ring keeps the whole thing from snapping closed on you. When you're choosing a bait, you want to go with either a food lure or a caster-based lure to elicit a territorial response when you know animals are in the area. In this case, we used both. We used a preferred food species, which is aspen, so I'm going to cut a few notches on the side of the aspen to release some of the scent that will attract the beaver to the location of the trap. Another benefit of having our aspen set like this is because when we do eventually use our caster oil or food lure, we can place it right in between the nest of sticks here, and that way if you have inclement weather such as rain, it won't wash off as easily as other methods. So the last bit is using their preferred food species, in this case aspen or herbaceous cover, will lace the back of the trap to create an eye catch which will attract the beaver to that location. So now that we've completed baiting our trap, it's time to put it in the water. The location of your trap is probably going to be the most important part of your set entirely. We've chose a location that has a scent mound which means that there is an active territorial male in the area there is an established lodge and there are channels that these animals are using. When you're thinking about trap placements, we usually like to leave about the back half of the Coro trap out of the water. That way as the beaver swims in and the trap closes, the beaver is still at least halfway out of the water and that way we know it won't drown. We like to use metal carabiners on the Coro traps just to make sure the beavers can't chew themselves free. One thing that we always make sure we do when we're setting up traps is to make sure they're securely tied to the bank. As far as knots go, we choose to use the trucker's hitch because that lets us put a lot of pretension on that line to make sure that beaver trap is not gonna slip into the water and drown the beaver. In some sets, it's really helpful to put up some guide sticks on either side of the trap. That way the beaver will be forced to come right into your trap and won't be able to bypass it or get around to the back of the trap, but sometimes in an area like this where it's really open and you have an obvious scent mound there, I will choose not to put guide sticks in because I know there's going to be a big territorial male beaver coming in to explore the new caster scent that we put down, and by giving him the freedom to explore, there's a lot more chance that he's going to come into our trap and trigger it with his back feet. Once you have your trap set into the channel and it's tied off securely to the bank, your safety's off and you're ready to walk away and wait for the beaver to swim on in. The traps that are capturing these animals live, it's humane because it acts very quickly before the animals have time to react and that way they are all encased inside of the traps without having any limbs stuck anywhere or uh, reducing the amount of stress that the animal encounters. As soon as the beaver's in the trap, it is removed. All the other traps are checked to make sure we don't have any more animals captured that morning. And then they are transported immediately to the National Fish Hatchery in Winthrop. Once they're at the hatchery, they are weighed, they are aged based on their weight. And then we assess their gender and we give them an individual pit tag, which is like a marker or a unique identification number for that individual. All of the beavers that we live trap are relocated into public lands high in the watershed where they're less likely to run into conflict with people. Thanks for watching. And good luck trapping.